the motivation to compile all these piano pieces into one album really came because I'd previously released albums that I'd produced and recorded completely myself, a sort of one-man band affair, and I thought, it's about time that you worked with another musician. Uh, and so the biggest body of work I had for a, for a single musician was the pieces I've written for keyboard and piano over the past uh, 20, 30 years. Did some searching around on the internet uh, and uh, by the stroke of luck came across uh, James. I thought that looks like it's going to be a perfect fit for what I've got in mind. The technical capabilities uh, of this instrument, uh, particularly the uh, sustain, uh, was uh, immediately apparent when I listened to uh, some of James's recordings and immediately I thought of some of the slower pieces that I've written, such as Just Before Dawn or Trying to Remember. Uh, they're very uh, slow moving pieces with a lot of sustain uh, pedal. And um, naturally I thought, wow, it would be fantastic if uh, there was a, a piano that could, and a pianist that could really take their time and spread these pieces out to their fullest extent. Composers such as Steve Reich um, made a huge impact on me when I heard their music uh, the first time. And I thought uh, it was, uh, there was music that I could easily identify with, uh, both from the sound of the music, the repetitions that were naturally present, but also the processes involved in, in the way that the music was structured. And so it was just purely uh, an instant appeal uh, for me. And so some of the pieces uh, on this album, uh, such as the third of the three playing pieces, um, have a sort of motor-driven uh, feel to them. The fast moving pieces, uh, the more exuberant ones, the more motor driven pieces, um, I, I like to think some, there are some joyful aspects in, in that music. But another piece, uh, such as um, the, the piece It May Have Been, is a more obvious uh, melancholic piece because it was derived from a sketch written uh, over 30 years ago, which I've revisited since recently. And I suppose just the very act of taking that approach compositionally naturally leads to remembering things as they were 30 years ago. And there's a sort of natural melancholic feel there that, uh, that can't be denied in the music. 